Welcome back to the channel. Now, anybody who's been around knows I love cats. That's my, my animal. This is my plant. This is my Monstera deliciosa, also known as um, the Swiss cheese plant. And um, they call it a split leaf or a cut leaf philodendron, but that's bull because this thing is not a philodendron, it's a Monstera. They're two completely different plants. Now, I'm gonna put um, some videos down in the description Thank you, Draco. I'm gonna put some videos down in the description um, about monsteras and caring for them. The reason I'm showing you my plant is because we are doing artwork with this plant. We're gonna do leaf print. I have to prune this thing, so I figured this was the perfect time to do some artwork with it. So I'm gonna cut some trimmings off because it needs to be pruned. Now, I have been obsessed with monsters my whole life, which is kind of a funny thing to mix monsters and cats because they don't actually mix. Um, the noise in the back is Draco playing with a stick. I can't help it if it picks up by the camera. Um, if you have a monster and you have animals like cats, specifically like Bella who loves leaves, you just need to do a little dilution, a little dilution of lemon juice and water and just spray it on there and the cats won't like the citric and they'll stay away. I'm gonna get some clipping done here and ooh, we will see uh, what we can find. Okay, so I'm gonna take off these leaves here that are turning brown. And because I am not repotting them, or, because you could clip these off if you clip it um, before the node and get a whole new plant. Not this one, this one won't. Let me see if I can show you real quick. So if I wanted to grow a new plant from this, I would cut it here below the node because this would make this right here is an aerial root and this whole thing would make a new plant but since we're doing it for art that doesn't matter now the fun part about monstera plants is if you cut it doesn't really matter if you cut them off they grow right back this is probably one of its oldest branches and it's seen better days so I think we're going to say goodbye to this one so I got a big one and a medium one. Let's see if I can get a smaller one. I know, Mr. Lucky, what is going on? Hi, can you not love on this plant, thank you? I just got through telling people how this plant is poisonous for you. Let's not demonstrate that. Hi, come on. Thank you. I've got my clippings. You can't see it, but there's a baby leaf up here. Um, actually, baby leaves are really cool because you notice this one right here is baby. It's very soft, it's very shiny, it's slightly lighter in color than everybody else. Um, monsters actually like to be moved. Um, sh shaking them, moving them around actually makes them happy, it makes them stronger, and it actually prepares them for storms, which is where they get their preparations from. But we've pruned everything we have now, so let me uh, show you what supplies you need and we'll get started. This is one of those projects where the sky's the limit and you can get all creative. You can do whatever you want with this project, really. So I'm gonna do a dark background with a more poppy leaf print on it. So I'm gonna use this dark, dark purple paint for my background. And then I'm gonna use an assortment of greens and yellows and such to do my leaf print with, but I'm gonna add in some glow-in-the-dark medium so that when I put it in my bedroom near the ultraviolet light, it'll pop. And that's the plan. That's my rambling. My materials, a canvas, monstera leaves, or whatever leaves you plan on using, paint for your background, paint for your prints, um, gloves if you don't want to get paint on your fingers 
um, scissors. I'll show you why you need those. In this case, because I'm using Monstera leaves, I'm gonna use this large platter and I'm gonna cover it in plastic wrap so that I don't have to clean too much when I'm done. That was disorganized, but let's get started. <laughs> Step number one, we're going to cover our canvas in dark purple paint. Now, if you want a nice finished edge, a nice finished edge, just go over it now, and it'll be all done. Now that the whole thing is purple, corners and all, get the cat hair off, I'm going to leave this to dry, and we'll come back, and I'll show you what to do next. My canvas is all prepped. It's got about three layers of dark purple paint on it. Now I'm going to set up to do this part. So I'm going to cover this plate, or plastic wrap. All right, so there we go. And that's just to save myself some aggravation at the end here, so I have one less thing to clean. So now I'm going to separate the stem, the vine, from the leaf itself on all of these. Okay, I'm gonna put my leaves to the side. Going to make a paint puddle. That was some glow-in-the-dark paint. This is new shamrock. Then I've got some lime sherbet. Yellow. These are uh, fluorescent poster paints. I'm gonna do that with the other two. Okay, there we go. I'm throwing a little blue just for some fun contrast. Now, I'm gonna do the stems first. Okay, make sure I didn't miss anything. Oop, okay, oop, and... Oop, that's one. Oop, I knew I missed a spot. And I'm just gonna fill in right there. Oop, oop, oop. There we go. I'm gonna do that with the next one. Make sure the whole thing's covered. All right, and uh, and here goes the little one. And three. Oop. All right. So, now, let's start with the little leaf, and we'll work our way bigger. That way we can make a mess on our tray as we go. As you can see, I'm going to spread out the paint using the leaf so that when I get to the bigger leaves, the paint will be everywhere. In the meantime, now I can press this leaf down. This is the smallest of our leaves. And since they tend to fall this way, we're gonna just go like that with it. Press it down gently. Make sure. Gets that nice heart shape. And whoop, there's our first print. It's not perfect, but I think it's cute. I'll move you over just a little so we can see just a little bit better. All right, now we're gonna take our medium size leaf on our tray because our big leaf's coming up and we're gonna need to be covering the whole thing. Draco, I'm not playing with you right now, baby. Okay, now next. I'll do our medium leaf right here. Ooh. That's fun. 
It's not perfect, but I think it's a lot of fun. <laughs> now it's time for our large leaf, and we're just gonna literally use it to blop up as much of this paint off of this tray as we possibly can. And now you see what I put on the gloves. Okay, and time for our big leaf. Oh, and, oh, there we go. And press it down as much as you can. The more you press, the more that paint will find its way to the canvas. And, oh, ta-da! Ooh, that one came out the best. Oh, I like the way that one came out. I'm gonna let this dry and we'll see how it looks. Okay, all finished. It's all finished. No spot. <laughs> um, I'm going to turn on this black light here so we can actually get a look at it. So things are going to get dark for a second. I'm going to turn off a bunch of lights. Ooh. And, ooh, there is our lovely picture. Ooh. <clears throat> There we go. Well, that's kind of fun. As you can see, it glows in the dark. And with the help of this lovely black light, it glows even more. And we are done our lovely leaf print painting with our Monstora leaves. And now we have learned that Monstoras and Philodendrons are not the same plant. Until next time, take care and be safe. Bye. Thank you for watching. Hey, want to subscribe? You can click on the purple Christmas tree. Not sure you want to subscribe yet? You want to see more content first? You can click on this video over here. Until next time, take care and be safe.